Okay, so I've been debating a lot whether or not to go to uh, college or university. I did want to back in the day, and I was going through something called second career, and I had all my transcripts, and I did all the workshops, and I did all the meetings, and I don't know if you call them seminars, but um, group things, getting together as well. Um, uh, yeah, meetings with the um, <clears throat> advisor or organizer of the school, and I was all set and ready to go for two years of schooling. They would have covered me for it, and it would have been for a skilled trade. And then I miraculously got a job at a factory. Um, it's working in like a freezer, fridge, um, oven idea, it's food processing. And I ended up being there for 10 years, but at the beginning when I got the job, um, one of the meetings I had when I went to the school was asking me if I had a job. And I said, yes, I do, because they actually set you up too to help you find a new job or something like that. At the time, I was working two jobs. Um, I was working at Galaxy Cinemas and I was working at Green Lawn. Not advertising here, not getting paid. To mention the names, but um, yeah, so they hired me at this other place. And when the school asked for the information, they asked me how much I would be making. And I told them. And then they said, okay, well, unfortunately, because you're going to be making a certain amount of money above this whatever limit they set, magic limit, um, they decided that my schooling was no longer important. And then they told me that I was no longer applicable for the program because I would be making too much money. And so I had to make the decision whether or not I wanted to take this job which was full-time because I was working two part-times and it was killing me. So I took this full-time job and then I ended up not going to school. <clears throat> As I stated before, I ended up staying there for 10 years almost, just short of 10 years. And now it's coming up again. I may have the opportunity to go back to school. Um, if I wanted to, but the only reason I would go would be to have a specific piece of paper stating that I'm qualified to do what it is that I already am doing um, with my own life experiences and such. And then I was thinking back to an old friend of mine, I'm no longer friends with him, but I was rummaging through some documents and papers that I had and some certificates and awards that I had earned over the years of my school and stuff like that. and. He seen me going through them and he said, oh, I didn't know you went to university. And I said, oh, no, I didn't. And he's like, oh, he's like, oh, I thought you were just like really smart and you just didn't tell anybody. And then that made me think, OK, so in order to be um, acknowledged or given any sort of respect for what it is you do or to be certified in something. Now, when it comes to medical, I can understand. Right. <laughs> if somebody's cutting you open, but uh, speaking to somebody about their personal experiences and sharing that to let another person know that they're not alone and what they're going through, you know, they can get through it. Um, I think those are a little different, but anyways, um, get back to what I was saying. So I've been thinking about going um, back you know, try it again. I still have everything. I kept the paperwork, I kept the documents, the transcripts, of course, I still have. I paid for them. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> so I was thinking about doing that, and I'm like, that would just be me feeding into it all over again. Honestly, if there's going to be changes made, um, I don't know how the students are doing it now in 2023. I really have no clue how they're affording things, how they're, I realize that more people are staying at home with their families and stuff as long as they can, uh, well into maybe their thirties. But, um, that in itself can create issues too, right? You need your independence, your freedom. And if the only reason you're staying around people is because you're financially not able to pay for your schooling, that's, that's a problem. But then again, there's a lot of problems in the system we're in and it is crashing and things are 
falling apart, the way the structure is set up. Um, definitely not as uh, equal as they claim it to be for opportunities and stuff. Um, so changes need to be made in that. So get back to what I was saying again, this whole idea of going to get a piece of paper and I would probably do very well. Um, 100% I believe that I would be able to pass whatever classes I took to get whatever degree or you name it that I wanted. And just to get a piece of paper to do something that I'm already doing to certify that I am. So basically uh, the way I'm, you know, almost kind of biasedly looking at it is that in order for certain people to give you any sort of respect or encouragement or um, acknowledgement or anything like that, you name it, uh, they require you to have a piece of paper as proof. Doesn't matter what you went through, doesn't matter the experiences you've had, doesn't matter your um, qualifications. Leave it to those that are qualified, right? Uh, so yeah, that's, it's got me going back and forth a little bit. <clears throat> Not going to be overly consumed with it. It's just something that I wanted to share because it is, it's kind of sad. There are many, even artists as well not just painting, right, but musicians and stuff off the streets and gaining money and stuff like that. I think they did an experiment where they had like a qualified or deemed qualified person that's gone through several years of schooling and stuff like that, <clears throat> excuse me again, <clears throat> on the streets. And they dressed him up in a certain way to make him look like he's homeless or uh, not well off. And he got absolute, doesn't matter how well he played, he's a professional. He plays like in, uh, what do you call them, amphitheaters or um, on the stages and stuff. He's a professional and he got very little attention whatsoever. Nobody paid him any mind, they just walked right past him. So there's a fucking problem. There's definitely a problem and I think people are more than aware of that. Uh, it's not equal. <laughs> um, and things are balancing themselves out, the scales are balancing, the energy shifts, everybody is uh, starting to acknowledge things more and um, wake up more and realize more and see that all that has been portrayed uh, when it comes to our, you know, governments or anything like that, it's not, um, it's not all they say it is. In fact, they set it up as almost like a, a loop. <laughs>